Call the meeting to order. Would you please call the roll, please, ma'am? Mr. Lamar? Present. Ms. Conley? <laughs> Mr. Benjamin? Present. Ms. Williams? Present. Dr. Viox? Present. Thank you. Uh, we will, uh, if you'll all stand with me, I uh, will recite the pledge. Mr. Mayor, would you lead us in the pledge, followed by a moment of silence? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated. Uh, we'll move to presentations. Um, Superintendent. As the, the board knows, we this year we had two reward schools, and we have a banner presentation for each of them. So I'm going to come down here. that it's both for achievement and growth at one time there were two distinctions there was either achievement or growth they have combined that in one which makes this award even more difficult to achieve Amen. and more prestigious the both both schools you see the three leaders at each school that's where it starts there and so I just want to say on behalf of the school staff and school board thank you you make us very proud and we couldn't be more proud to have you with us anybody else School board members? Well, just that I, I know it's a tough job, and I, I, I'm amazed at how, how you do this almost every year. Uh, thank your teachers, thank your students, and, and your parents for all their support, but hey, the hard work, uh, thank y'all so much. Yeah, it just gets tougher and tougher to do your jobs, and so you guys do it really, really well. So thank you for what you do. Absolutely. Yeah, we, we often talk about all the stuff that happens that's non-academic, being able to keep the focus on academic with everything else is quite a feat. So thank you, and please uh, uh, display that proudly and thank your teachers because they're the ones in the classrooms doing the hard work. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Hill asked that you all go out there for more pictures. <laughs> All right, um, we'll move on to uh, citizen comment. Any, uh, Ms. Gore, any citizen comments? None, okay. Then we will move ahead to approval of the agenda. So um, do we have a motion that we approve the agenda? Motion to approve the agenda. Second. We have a motion and a second. All, all, all approve, all for the motion say aye. 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 Any opposed? 
Motion carries. We'll move ahead into reports. We'll start with chairman report. I only have a couple things. Um, one, um, our next board meeting, we are going to uh, have an opportunity to be trained on our new system here. Uh, so I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, our BOE Connect. And so I've reached out to the state, and they're going to send someone in. Uh, let me see what her name is. I've got that here with me. Uh, yeah, Jenna, yep, she's coming in. So she'll be here at 430. So if we can come in an hour early to uh, to go over that with her an hour early next time, we'll send something out just to remind you of that, uh, of when that's coming. I think she's going to get with you, Jenna, to probably do some things with you ahead of time even of that. So uh, I was glad that they're going to give us some training on that. So mm -hmm. that's coming next week. Right. <laughs> Uh, and then, um, so thank you, um, Ms. Williams, for passing this along to me. Uh, we want to recognize Mr. Lamar. Uh, I pass along some information that Mr. Lamar has been appointed to the Tennessee State Veterans Home Board by Governor Lee for a three-year term. And so this State Veterans Home Board oversees the operations of the four veterans' homes in the state of Tennessee. That's crazy. Uh, uh, Mr. Lamar has a passion for, for veterans, uh, was uh, in the Air Force for 30, well, if you're in, a, it's, it's 38 30, years. 38 years, yeah, that's that's an amazing thing. So thank you for what you do, and that's a really cool thing. Hope I make a doing. contribution. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Really, really cool. That's awesome. Congratulations. That's all I have. Thank you. We'll move to the report. I have, uh, I only have a couple items. Um, I've, t I've told you at the last meeting, I'll give you an update on where we are with the uh, indoor field house. And Ms. Speakman has been working with our architects to get that out. And so she's going to share with you what that process looks like in our general timeline. Okay, so um, the ad will go into the newspaper on Thursday for the construction manager for this project. Um, uh, this particular project is one um, that is, uh, of course, very particularized to uh, athletic, uh, the obviously the athletic facility, but also, you know, the not just the bones of the facility, but what comes inside of it. So um, we will be um, requesting the services of a construction manager. Their pre-response conference um, that will be mandatory will be for them to come on October 31st. And what that entails is um, the proposers actually coming to the site so that they can see um, all of the um, challenges, if you will, that they will have to endure uh, during the construction period, you know, including, you know, student traffic and, you know, all of those sorts of things. We think that's very important. Um, and then uh, they will uh, have until November 14th to respond. Um, and then the superintendent's recommendation uh, will be due on December 10th, and she will bring that to you on December 18th uh, with uh, a dollar amount in hand as to um, what that proposal will, would look like. So that, and I can answer any questions that you have, but um, we think this is a, a really good, solid process. Okay. Any questions? No. And the uh, only other thing I have on the my agenda to talk to y'all about, uh, we've talked a lot about the uh, Arlington Education Business Foundation uh, Board and that work, and I'm really excited. We should be receiving this week, I believe tomorrow, our draft of our prospectus, which has been done for us by Dactronics, and basically it's our brochure of our uh, our facilities and what we're wanting to raise funds for, what are the giving levels, how much money at each levels, and what the businesses get for that. And so when we get that, I will be sending that out to each of you so that you'll see what that looks like. Uh, our, our board has met and we have identified a number of potential businesses to partner with, with and have targeted with different giving levels. And so we have the ability with our prospectus to make to make them unique to the business that we're going to and so and then we have also identified which individuals would be best served to to go do those visits with those businesses and so that's where we are where our goal is to raise two million dollars we're uh, very optimistic that that we're going to be able to get that or come close to that with some of our potential donors it will be a, over a 10-year period so for example um, if somebody sponsored something at um, $750,000 level, then over 10 years, they would be paying $75,000 a year for 10 years. And so that's what, if they're the 
250,000, 25,000 over 10 years. That's what that would look like. And so anyway, I just wanted to give you an update on that. The prospectus, Tyler has been working with Dactronics, gathering the information um, with, within this project. It, this money includes installing at the football field, a new electronic scoreboard and electronic scoreboard at the high school because both of those will be part of the advertisements for the businesses. In so the basically, gym, is that what you're in the gym, okay. yeah, okay. and they'll have almost advertisements, commercial-like at football games or any other events on the football field and gym, which is is what the businesses will be looking for, which is what we'll be offering them for their participation. So I will take any questions on that. But with that, that concludes my report. Okay. Any questions for superintendent? Okay. We'll move ahead to uh, financial report, Ms. Roberts. The, oh, oh, yeah, sorry. Here for Ms. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he only sees the back of the head. That's right. I, was, I just that's wrote responses, right? Our August 2019 financial report for the general fund, our revenues were $3.2 million. Expenditures were $3.1 million. Nutrition fund revenues, 85727 Expenditures, 92767 Federal and discretionary grants, revenues were 172163 expenditures 172229 and the construction progress fund, revenues zero, expenditures zero. Then our interlocal health trust report for, again, August 2019, year-to-date revenue, 13.2 million, year-to-date expenses, 7.5 million, and our beginning balance was 78,000 and an ending balance of 5.7 million. And that concludes the financial report. Thank you very much. Uh, any questions about financial reports? All right, we will move ahead to <laughs> TLN report, Dr. Viox. All right, so um, you guys may remember back when we were talking about getting this done early and uh, it was brought to my attention that the deadline for submitting resolutions to the TSBA was October the 2nd. Uh, apparently, we weren't the only ones that were in conflict with that. So at this meeting in September, we fixed the language. So there will no longer be that extended period after the TSBA board votes on these resolutions where you can still submit. Currently, we voted, I think, the 27th of September. Deadline was October 2nd. All of that was changed in the bylaws. So we won't have that issue anymore. So um, we, we do have, but, but what that does tell us is we do have to go earlier. Um, we had, I think, 17 resolutions. Um, two of them were literally submitted while we were in session. And so we went ahead and took those at the time. Um, I'm gonna give these to Jana because they have my chicken scratch all over them. Has some notes. The biggest issue was the accountability thing. Um, and I don't know if you guys know about that, but I think Penny Schwinn showed up uh, with this new accountability model that was based on Texas, which has been wildly unsuccessful. Um, and she set up meetings with both of the subcommittees, which the heads consequently uh, canceled. So they would not meet with her on that until she got with stakeholders, which is a big deal. So thank you to them for that. So um, they'll go, hopefully they'll be reaching out to some people that are experts in accountability. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is instead of going through all these, uh, it has my chicken scratch on it. Like you'll see, like this um, number. Th this one was added to. We just added some language to number three. So these were the rough drafts. I tried to correct them where possible. If you can read my writing, uh, the scary part on here about the. Uh, the state's accountability model is they were going to reduce it to, uh, if anybody that knows about statistics, the end model is usually 30, and they reduced, and this other accountability model reduced it to an end of 10, so they could literally take 10 students out of your district and ruin your score. Mm -hmm. So that's a problem. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, that's what all that chicken Who thought of that? Well, it's <laughs> Commissioner of Education. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fortunately, the lawmakers poo pooed that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to give all these to Janet instead of me reading them. Uh, if you guys got your copy of the uh, board um, online magazine from TSBA, everybody should have gotten through email. There's a section uh, General Counsel pointed out on 14 that talks about several of these. It's by no means a complete list, but it was some that were more important. 
So these are the things that we'll vote on during the uh, delegate assembly to move forward. The board, TSBA board has approved these. These, are, these This is gonna be TSBA's legislative agenda. Also, um, this was pretty cool. They gave us uh, fall district meeting summaries, survey data and stuff like that. I just think it's interesting, uh, but I'm a nerd. So I'm gonna pass that on. And I also have a cheat sheet for the BOE Connect uh, on how to, you know, how to navigate. Uh, this won't take place of the training, but it may give you a leg up um, before Jenna gets here and works through all that thing. So I'm going to hand all of this to Jana and hopefully she can either scan it uh, so she doesn't kill a bunch of trees and you guys will have all that stuff That's instead great. of me reading it to you. That's so, great. It was a super productive TSBA meeting. Um, thoughts on that if you want to, uh, I can piggyback some of that info on the TLN report or we can do a separate section. I'm happy to report on anything that the TSBA board does if anybody's interested, because it's really, we do a lot, it's really packed full of stuff. And uh, we did some cool stuff with a program called Youth Science uh, that I won't get into now, but um, but they really have some cool partnerships and we learn a lot at that state level. So I'm happy to share that in a formal setting or if you guys just wanna call me. Okay. That's it, thanks. Awesome, thank you, Dr. Viox. Any questions for Dr. Viox? Okay, um, Ms. Gore, will you let the minutes reflect that um, Board Member Conley has joined us? Thank you, and I apologize. It's all right. Glad you're here. I'm glad to be here. Glad Thank you're you. here. Uh, we will move ahead to the consent agenda. I do have a motion to approve the consent agenda. So move. <coughs> second. I have a motion and a second. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? The ayes have it. Consent agenda passes. Uh, we'll move ahead to uh, miscellaneous budget items. Um, Superintendent. Is that right? Did we skip one? Approval of minutes. Approval to September. <clears throat> oh, okay. I, I thought September. that was part Okay, that's yeah. 8A. I thought yeah. that was yeah. part of the consent agenda. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it is. It is. It is. It is. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Oh. Uh, thank you. I'm looking at the mis miscellaneous budget items resolution 1920. These are our, our monthly budget amendments that are moved around from within the same category. Um, not a lot this month, as you can see. And so with that, uh, my recommendation is to approve resolution 2019-20, amending the 2019-20 school ACS budget. Motion to approve. Okay. Second. We have a motion and a second. Uh, any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? The ayes have it. The motion passes. Our next item under business items 10A. Uh, those of you that have been here before, this is an annual report that the board has to approve. It's a, called a uh, local education agency compliance report. It is a list of, it looks a little bit differently, but serves the same purpose as in previous years. It's basically a self-assessment that LEAs go through a checklist to be assured that we are following rules, uh, State Board of Education rules and minimum requirements for public schools. We do, we are in compliance with each of the areas required. There are three areas that are just not applicable to us. And so with that, and we do not, uh, including waivers, we do not have any waivers. And so with that, it is my recommendation that the board approve the LEA compliance report for Arlington Community School for 2019. Okay. Uh, we have heard the superintendent's recommendation. We have a motion to approve. So moved. Second. Have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? And the motion carries. Our next item on the underneath the business items is resolution 2019-21. This is amending our school fee schedule. If you look at page three, it itemizes um, each of the field trips that the kids will be going on. This is from elementary up through high school uh, the, from November. There's also a couple on there. There's one on there for December. And Mr. Simpson got way ahead of the game and he's going in February, so he got his in early. So, uh, if you, again, to remind you, uh, the student fee schedule, that is the amount of money that is being charged to the students to participate in that particular trip. And so with that, my recommendation is to approve resolution 2019-20, amending the student fee schedule for school year 2019-2020. Okay. 
Okay. Approved superintendent's rec uh, recommendation. Have so moved. Have a motion to approve. Second. And a second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? There is none. The motion carries. Our next business item, 10C, is a, this is an exciting resolution for me. Uh, this is a resolution 2019-22. This is a resolution that would be granting tenure to 16 of our eligible teachers within our school district. You will see at the bottom of the resolution, it names each of those names. I would like to read them out loud. It is yep. quite an honor to get this uh, recognition. If you look at this and then what we will do after the board, uh, the board approves these 16 nominees, then at our next month's board meeting, we'll have them to officially honor them because then at that point they will have been granted tenure. Right. Yep. And with that, I would like to name the, those that we are bringing before you to be approved for tenure. From AES, we have Kimberly Broyles and Ms. Sarah Neal. From AHS, we have Amy Balducci, Catherine Edson, Melissa Jenkins, Courtney McNatt, Russell Waits, Emily Warhorst. Uh, from AMS, we have Charlotte uh, Contier, Nancy Discerny, Robin Finley, Letitia King, and Cody Price. And then lastly, from DES, we have Laura Scruggs, Gregory Sims, and Tina Verheim. And so with that, it is my recommendation to the board that you approve resolution 2019-22, granting tenure to the teachers that I just uh, named. Very nice. Uh, you've heard the superintendent's recommendation. Uh, is there a motion to approve? So, so move. So move. A second. We have a motion to approve and a second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? There is none. And the motion carries. Uh, we will move ahead to item 10D, uh, election of a chairman. Uh, and so we will, at this point, uh, call for, um, maybe no. yeah, call for nominations for chair. That's what we'll do. I nominate Mr. Scott Bings for chair for the ACS school board. Second. So you've heard the uh, recommendation, second. the nomination, the second. <laughs> Any more nominations? There are none. I, I should have closed that quicker. <laughs> so, <laughs> don't look so, down. Right. Right. That's right. That's right. So we'll close the nominations and we will vote as a board. Uh, all those in favor of Scott Benjamin being the uh, chairman of the board, uh, say aye. 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 Any opposed? There's none. And motion carries. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah. Now we will move ahead to the election of vice chairman. Uh, so we'll open the floor for uh, nominations. I nominate Dr. Dale Beox for the office of vice chairman. Second. Okay, we have a motion for Dr. Beox uh, to be vice chairman and a second. Any more nominations? that we will close the nominations and we will call this to a vote all those in favor of dr viox being vice chair uh, say aye. aye aye any opposed there are none and the motion carries congratulations, congratulations. Right. Thank you. Good time. all right uh that about wraps it up uh we just need one more motion okay i oh. need an announcement okay oh no sunday afternoon Three o'clock, December the tenth, at uh, Depot Square. Uh, the Audience of Cool System is shining bright that afternoon. Mm -hmm. We normally have and have had since 2005 the middle school band play that's been going on since 2005. But we have an extra treat this year. As you know, the choir is going to Normandy for the 76th yes. anniversary, yes. Yes. and next June uh, there's a pancake supper tonight on the side. Yes. Uh, they'll be singing, so the music will be done uh, when Tanya and I get it worked out with those two individuals uh, between the choir and the band. We normally have a speaker. We are a living uh, veteran. Uh, so it'll be a great afternoon. Show up, and uh, I do think the choir director is going to kind of explain how that's going to take place. Mm -hmm. So we'll have a lot more music than we've had before, so show up at uh, 3 o'clock, last little, little past an hour. It'd just be a great afternoon uh, up for the ACS.
What's, what's the date? date again? 1210, you said, right? 1210. 1210? November the 10th. November, November the 10th. 10. 10. Oh, that's the 10. November the 10th. We'd have missed that one. Yeah. Sun, Sunday. Missed it by Sunday. Where, where is this everybody? We won't be there. November 10th, 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock. Depot Square. Depot Square. Depot Square. Awesome. And just piggyback on Mr. Lamar, so you don't have dinner plans tonight, 5 to 7, pancake breakfast at AES. And the funds go toward the choir on their trip to Normandy. Okay. Let me mention one other thing that you may not know. About. I did. Tanya Howell kind of uh, uh, calloed me here uh, on on November the twenty fourth at the Pendle Farm between one and five. Uh, a Shelby County celebrating its two hundredth anniversary, and from what I get from Tanya, and I'm kind of her sub assistant. Somehow or another, she wrote me into it, that each town will have a tent, and Arlington will have a tent, and she's got it laid out. She's going to get some pictures uh, of microport and some things, but we're going to have a history part. That's kind of what I'm uh, involved with. We're going to have, the, uh, like to do, in dressed in old clothes like the 1900s, and we're going to have some history people there. I, I haven't been here very long, but those people who've been here a long period of time, they'll be telling the history of Arlington, uh, they've got a replica of, of the Arlie Burger. Now, I don't know where you here when they have the Arlie Burger, but we've got some uh, kind of sculptures of those things we had from one to five, and uh, uh, there'll be some published on it later on. So, 200th anniversary of Shelby County. That's really cool. Is that the penal farm? That's the penal farm. Good. I mean, thank you. Appreciate that, Mr. Lamont. November the 24th, one to five. There you go. Anything else before we close? We see one more motion. Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. And a second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? We are adjourned. <laughs>